Let's move into the NFL. We got the Saints and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I don't even know how I feel about either one of these teams, to tell you the truth. Um, Before we get started on this, though, let me talk to you about... Hey, everybody, don't forget to check out Caesar Sportsbook. It's my new official sponsor. They're going to hook up all new accounts with up to $1,250 in a risk-free first bet. And win or lose, they're going to drop 1,000 reward credits and 1,000 tier credits into your account. You do not want to miss out on this deal. Check out the description of this video and click on the link. Our promo code, it's HOLIDAY. Don't forget to use HOLIDAY when you're over at picksandparlays.net. It's going to save you 20% off the entire site, including Jesse Shul's premium plays. All right. So Saints are at the Bucks. Bucks are minus three and a half. The total on this one is 40 and a half. Like I said, I just don't know how I feel about either one of these teams. What do you got going on with this, Jesse? Well, Allie, you say you don't know how to feel about it. I can tell you how I feel about it. You're going to have to give me more than three and a half points to be betting on Andy Dalton and the Saints against Tom Brady and the Bucks at Tampa Bay. Uh, as bad as Tampa Bay has been, they are the first place team in the NFC South and they are facing the last place team, uh, even though only two wins separate the two teams, but, uh, or maybe even only one win actually. Anyways, uh, Tom Brady finally has a healthy receiving core, Mike Evans, Godwin, uh, Jones, all healthy, Cameron Brait, uh, four games, he's back now. Um, so that should make a big, a big difference for Tom Brady. If you look at Brady's stats, I mean, he hasn't had the greatest year, but his touchdown to INT ratio is still solid. At home, it might surprise some people, nine touchdowns, one interception on the year at home. Uh, You look at Andy Dalton, the red rifle, uh, at home, he's got a nine and two touchdown to interception ratio. On the road, not so nice, though, five and five, as many picks as he has touchdowns. I, I mean, uh, not one of the Tampa receivers, or uh, if you look at their leading receivers, not one of the top six has played in all 11 games. So finally having that receiving core healthy all at the same time should benefit the Bucks. I do know that, I mean, I, I acknowledge they've got uh, issues on the offensive line, uh, issues, injury issues all over the place. Still, at the end of the day, they got Tom Brady. They got a pretty solid receiving core. Their offense should do just enough to win this game by at least four anyways. All right, so that's how we're going to play it. We're taking the Buccaneers minus the three and a half points. I'm just staying off of this game is what I'm doing because every time I go for the Bucs, they lose, and every time I go for the Saints, they lose. So you know what's going to happen? I'm going to lose in this game no matter which way I play it. So go with Jesse. He's the expert here. Take the Bucs minus the three and a half. And while you're doing that, like and subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. The Power Hour is on every Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Thank you so much, Jesse, for stopping by the Power Hour. I'll see you again next week.